Why does my cat sleep all day? What are the point of clouds? What's the point of insomnia? How did this become abstract? Why is grass so itchy? Why am I obsessed with chocolate? What even is research? These are questions asked by researchers all over the world, and you can be a part of that in college and expand that fountain of knowledge. My name is Amari Walker, and today we're gonna cover why you should do research when you're in college, how it's gonna benefit you, and how awesome it is. When you're in college, you have a lot of things on your mind, whether that is finding money every day for paying for your textbooks and all the other expenses of college, to just managing your classes, your grades, hanging out with friends and family, or just extremely busy with other extracurricular activities like clubs and sports. A lot of you are missing out on that magical opportunity of research that your advisors or your professors and graduate instructors also mention casually in the beginning of a class. And you should always ask them what they do for research. So I'm sure you are curious about a few things when I say the word research. What is it? How do I do it? And how is it gonna benefit me? Where do I look to even get involved? Well, let's talk about it. Research is looking at previously done work and trying to find a gap in knowledge. So it doesn't matter what field of knowledge you're in, you're always looking to explore where people have not gone to explore before. How do you do that as an undergrad? I know when I did my first research opportunity, I was in my second year of college. I did it during my summer. And then after that, I did research opportunities out of my school and then out of the state at Columbia University and even out of the country in uh, French Polynesia, Tahiti. I did all of my research in very different disciplines. When I started my first research project, I was fully guided through that process. The principal investigator, which is usually either a research scientist or a professor, or even the graduate student will walk you through a project that has already been well-defined and show you how to undergo the methodology or analyze the data or even just help with simple tasks and learn instrumentation within that lab. And if you stay with that project long enough, you will even have an opportunity to publish in a peer-reviewed journal. And that will always look good on your resume, saying that you added to a collection of work. Well, how does this benefit me? How is it gonna personally benefit my life and future career? The first way that research is gonna do good things for you is one, you can get paid. There are ways to use it as work study or paid opportunities for your summer to have a stipend and even travel to a different place to do that research. The other option is getting independent course credit. So that can help you finish your major or even graduate with honors. If you uh, wanna finish in your program with a strong distinction, usually doing some kind of undergraduate research project is the way to go. And so that's gonna look really great on your resume, no matter what job you're going for, because research is always going to teach you how to think outside of the box, how to uh, define a question and execute a plan to answer it and interpret those results. And those are all translatable skills to almost anything you do in your future career and in life. You also get the opportunity to travel. So that includes going out of the state to do a research project or even out of the country to do a research project. The other opportunity regarding travel is through conferences. Research also gives you the opportunity to consider career options that you had never thought about before. Things like becoming a professor, a research scientist in a lab, or even working for a museum, or even working for like a think tank. Having that research opportunity is always gonna look good on your professional resume. All of those fields appreciate a background in research. And if you decide that you want to go on to a graduate program or a professional program, whether that means a master's, a PhD, or to get a law degree or a medical degree, 
having a research background is always gonna make you a stronger applicant and make you stand out in that process. I always highly encourage that you at least do one research opportunity while you're at your university. The other question is, well, you sold me, how do I do it? Okay, the first thing you have to do is go to your university's website and look up research experiences. There's usually always some form of a program that allows you to get involved in research. If there's not any programs available to you at your university, consider other uh, national applications through the National Science Foundation. They have a what's called a REU, which is Research Experience for Undergrads. So there's tons of options. I'll put a few links below to some places to consider. That's all I have about why you should do research in undergrad. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification link. Don't forget to leave a comment. If you have any other questions about research or have questions about how to get involved in things that I did to make sure that I was standing out as an applicant, just leave them below. And don't forget to like this video. So thank you for watching. And what are you waiting for? It's time to start applying for research opportunities right now.